Hollywood. The predominant place for film production is about to lose its importance. Difficult working environments, staggering cost of labor, and a world full of economical changes forces Hollywood to new strategies in filmmaking. Therefore, Hollywood's story of filmmaking now continues in Eastwood. I came in to Prague in 1991-92. We have film industry here for more than 100 years. The idea was to try and get uh, films and commercials and production to come to the Czech Republic to film. The advantages were both creative and financial. The price, it's, uh, it's uh, much, much lower. Uh, what you can get in France, in Germany, or in Britain, or even in, in America. Enjoy it as well, because size does matter. The movie stars have uh, egos, and we have to make sure we service those. Every single cost, every single item to make any production happen is very wisely spent. I can save the money behind the camera, but I don't want to save the money in front of the camera. Prague um, is still attractive for Western industry, but uh, not effective so much like uh, a like few years ago. Filmmaking in Prague and in Central and Eastern Europe is at a bit of a crossroads. Our competitors now uh, are now uh, Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary, Latvia, and unfortunately I think uh, now uh, now a lot of movies are moving uh, from Prague to, to these countries. I came over here in the summer of uh, 2000. The first guys out here was uh, New Image. We came, we came from South Africa. It's financial factors of the film business changed dramatically. If I'm going to shoot a movie, I'm going to spend like 200, 220,000 euro just for the extras. Here in Bulgaria, it costs 13 euro each one. I'm going to spend 39,000. So those savings are dramatic. We're trying to put, bring more of the bigger movies we used to do in the States to bring them down here. This year is supposed to be like a 30, 35 uh, feature per four year. We'll be make it on Sofia Bulgaria in this location. A grip in Los Angeles is about $300 for the day. In Prague, it's about $100 a day and about uh, 35 to 40 dollars here in Bulgaria for a grip for the day. A million dollar below the line, we're able to do it for about half year. I couldn't afford on these type of movies to, to build these sets only here. So big movies who need a lot of art, this is the place to win. Here, um, you know, we have second and third generation grips and gaffers working for us. They enjoy their job. Where I don't find the same in, in Western productions as much. For their crew, they love the crew here. I just had a great time, you know, filming and working with the people here. Good, fantastic, the excellent crew. What's nice about the crew is it seems like everybody's worked together. Some of the actors said to me, David, you're talking Hollywood, this is Hollywood. My crew, I, I've trained in the last several years to act like an American movie crew. Now the market is very well trained. This is probably the most educated studio in the world. They're very smart, and, and, and I mean it. I'm in charge of uh, the visual effects department. Bulgaria is an interesting country, and actually 98% of the actors who've been here want to come back here. Nice place, Bulgaria. Nice people, too. Usually when they talk about coming this far out, it's either us or Romania. And uh, still, Sofia is about 10 to 15% cheaper. The window here of the best shooting that'll be economically viable for everybody is probably about another six to eight years. And we'll be moving east, and we'll be into Johnistan. Eastwood.